Hey bro, people, this is Sonic Sanity 2 and welcome back to Let's, Let's Play Mega Man 2 and I still have Mega Allergies, so yeah, I'm going to be Mega Sneezing throughout this entire thing. Or not even Mega Sneezing, Mega Sniffling. But, oh yeah, yeah crap, I hate allergies. Either way though, in our last episode, we started off the Wily Fortress levels. We got through Wily Fortress stages 1, 2, and I believe 3. And now we're up to the 4th one. And, well, as you can see, I'm just enjoying the breeze as, you know, we're just sitting down over here. And sitting down, just you know, riding the um, riding the platform. There we go. Yeah, riding the platform. <sniffs> and crap, I should have really gotten a tissue before I started this episode. The oh crap, that was close. Okay, because I am stupid, I decided to use item one over here. Except you know, I realized that it's a bad idea, and I kind of just killed myself there because I was like, oh crap, this is not gonna work. So yep. All right, now either way though, we're just gonna keep going out. We're gonna try this again. I think this is actually, I think I should succeed this time. And I should probably, like, you know, really, really take some allergy pills afterwards. Because, crap, I cannot go out my days living with allergies. It sucks. Like, holy crap. All you guys out there in the world that know what it's like to have allergies, you guys know how badly it sucks. But why in November, though? Like, this is, like, the most randomest month for you to get allergies. Like, you know, I've gotten allergies in April. I've gotten May. I think I've gotten them in, like, March, June. But... November? Why? I got my flu shot though, so it can't be the flu. But yeah, either way though, now we're gonna try this again. Will we succeed? Will I succeed this time? Hopefully, please. And I just get the idea, you know what? Blah. And as you saw that really, really bad transition over there, I decided to make a safe state because I was like, you know what? If I die again, I'm gonna be really mad. So I just safe stayed there just in case. And now, oh, we got this. Okay, interesting. How are we gonna get through this this time? <laughs> Oh yeah, because I feel really, really lazy, I decided to leave shield there, and there we go. And now how are we going to get through this Riddler conundrum this time? How are we going to jump over it? Are we going to use item 1, 2, or 3? We're going to jump over it. That simple. Yep, really, really, it's just that simple. And there's a life there. Oh, crap. Oh, dang it. Like, that, the temptation just to get that life. It's like, it's right there for you just to take, but then, ah, oh, you crap the gods are like no Mega Man you're not gonna get a life and you're like but, but I need the life I suck at the game it's like no no get better I have no idea what I'm even saying right now I'm tired I have allergies I can't think straight <laughs> I should not be recording this right now but whatever though I gotta record this episode because if I don't who will okay yeah that was <laughs> that was a really weird thing to say but now we got these walker things again ah oh, crap it's funny that I call it the walker things because these things remind me like those um the chicken walkers from um, Star Wars, what do they call like AT-ATs? Wait, no, 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 ATST. I forgot. I forgot what they're called. I always call them chicken walkers for, for some odd reason. Star Wars. I don't know. Speaking of Star Wars, you guys getting a new Battlefront? Because I played the beta and I thought it was meh. I, I just thought the beta was meh. Battlefront 2 though will, will forever be my favorite Star Wars game of all time because Battlefront 2 was like amazing. It was just so great. And ah, oh, crap. The Crash Bomber puzzle. Oh, this one is. This puzzle, every Mega Man fan knows how infamous this puzzle is. Just because of how stupid this puzzle is. You have limited ammo for the Crash Bomber. You literally have to do this entire thing using all the ammo you got. And you there's no ammo reserves over here. But yeah, either way, though, back to Star Wars Battlefront. So, I played the beta, and I thought it was like, okay. Like, you know, it didn't amaze me. It didn't. It didn't, you know, depress me. I just thought it was like, I thought it was like, eh. But like forever though, Battlefront 2 will forever be my, you know, my favorite Star Wars game. Like, you know, I think this Force Unleashed was like fun. I never played the old, the old Republic or Knights of the Old Republic. But Battlefront 2 though, I could like literally list off all the memories I had at that game as a kid. You know, played with my cousin Danny. We always play like the conquest mode. There was a, um, there was that game mode where you could like actually be like the, you know, the Jedi's and the heroes, uh, villains of the story. It, 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 that was a, that was a really cool game mode. So you know, like I really I really do. Wait, I I miss Battlefront too. Like I don't even know what happened to it. I think I gave it away to a friend, but even that was kind of a stupid decision on my part because Battlefront 2 was an amazing game. But you know, what depressed me though about the new Battlefront though is that they're always sticking to like you know the old movies, which you know, in my opinion, the old movies are the better ones. Like you know, the original the the original trilogy is like the best. You know, the um episodes one, two, and three are either bad or meh like i i think three was the best out of one and two like you know i hated one mainly because of jar jar and two like used too much cgi for like its own like you know benefit 
Well, not all benefit, like, you know, its own doubt. So, and, but, you know, 3 had, like, probably, 3 was probably the best one out of it. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of Star Wars fans could agree with, like, you know, 3 is the best one. But, you know, with, like, the old Battlefront 2, like, you know, it pulled from all the movies. Like, you know, even though I, I didn't like one episodes 1, 2, and 3, I could at least, you know, say that, you know, the environments of 1, 2, and 3 were probably really pretty. Like, you know, even though they used too much CGI, I'm not going to lie, the environments in episodes 1, 2, and 3 were great. They were really good. So, you know, it saddens me, though, that, you know, those locations won't be in a new Battlefront. And even then, I don't trust EA. I really do not trust EA. Like, you know, after, like, you know, all the stuff they've been pulling in recent years, it's just, like, it's literally just, like, I, I, EA, I have my trust in you. You fail me a lot. I don't trust you anymore. And, like, you know, I'm still shaky with Mirror's Edge, too, because, like, I love the first Mirror's Edge. It was a really fun game. And EA is doing Mirror's Edge 2 again. Okay, this is this could be really really bad, but yeah, anyway, though, getting to what's going on the screen right now because I kind of just went off into a different tangent. This is the boss rush. Self-explanatory. You fight all the bosses again. Yay. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Ay ay ay. Dang it. Like my allergies are killing me. Ah. Okay. But anyway, though, back to what I was saying before about you know EA and Battlefront. Oh crap. It's so funny because like you know it seems like in most recent let's plays I've been trash talking a lot of companies. Like, you know, I remember in Silent Hill, it was tr I was trash-talking Konami. And it's why I'm trash-talking EA when I'm playing a Mega Man game. When, you know, I should be trash-talking Capcom because, yeah, they've been pulling some stupid stuff. But, you know, recently Capcom has, you know, they've... Re I wouldn't say redeemed themselves. More like, you know, they've realized they messed up. And they're like, we're sorry, but still, we'll, we'll try to fix what we made, what we broke. So, you know, I'm like, I'm okay with that. You know, Konami... Not Konami. Capcom realized it. So, you know, yeah, but EA is still EA. Like, you know, if this was, like, the old Battlefront developers doing it, I would be like, oh, I don't care whether the game is good or bad. I'm playing money into this, but it's EA. They haven't really had the best track record with, uh, you know, recent games. So, you know, Battlefront, and especially Mirror's Edge 2, because Mirror's Edge 2, or Catalyst, or whatever they're calling it, yeah, I think Mirror's Edge Catalyst. That was probably, like, you know, my most hyped game right there, but yeah. um, I, this, this notice what just happened on screen. Metal Man was weak to its own weapon and died in one hit that was um that's pathetic <laughs> ah metal man oh you but yeah back to what i was saying about ea i just don't trust them so you know i am really really skeptical with battlefront and especially mirrors edge catalyst but anyway though with that tangent done now we got wily the final boss now eh, yeah the final boss wily all you gotta do is position yourself perfectly and just metal blade the crap out of him and you're done and Mega Man apparently disappeared. Holy crap, the sprite, the sprite flickering in this game is terrible, but it's not over yet, though. For Wily has escaped into a secret passageway and goes beneath the depths of the earth. Yeah, that, that wasn't the real final boss of Wily. Now this is the real final boss of Wily. So, we fall, into, we fall down to a cave with no music playing. But, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I really do like this scene, though, because, you know, it's really nothing. Like, you know, all there is is just these drops of blood and yeah these drops do damage you i don't know what these drops are all i know is that they damage you so you know you might want to be really really careful with them but yeah other than that you know all you gotta do is just avoid them and you should be good aye, aye. wait just avoid these drops because you know they take forever and now we are at the final boss dr wily wait what is dr wily doing why is he floating Wait, what? He's an alien? What? Okay, that's completely out of left field. So yeah, apparently Dr. Wily is an alien. Um, I won't question that. But yeah, crap, we gotta use the E-Tank. But I'm not gonna question how Dr. Wily is an uh, alien. But yeah, either way though, he's weak to the bubble lead. So you know, all you gotta do is get really, really close to him and just lay out all the bubble leads you got. And that should be it. Also, I think if you hit him, it's an insta-kill. Like, no, I, I wouldn't say hit him. I think if you, like, touch him, it's an insta-kill. I'm not entirely sure, though, because, like, you know, it actually happened to me, like, you know, once. And I'm still not 100% sure what happened. But, you know, yeah, just dodge his attacks, lay out the bubble head, and you should be good. But, yeah, other than that, Wily's final form isn't really that bad. Like, you know, for a final boss, I really do think Mega Man 1's final boss was a little bit harder. Especially with this game, since you have, like, the, like, the game-breaking Metal Blades. But... Other than that, you know, and you're done. 
Dr. Wily, Alien Wily is defeated once and for all. So, wait. Oh, it was all an illusion. Dang it, Wily. Hi, oh, yeah, crap. Okay, so yeah, Wily's not an alien. It was just an illusion. So, yeah, um. Wah, wah, wah. And now, we broke his uh, last toy. Now, Wily, beg for your life. There he goes again, begging for his life. Ah, Wily, you never, never, never learn. Oh, you Wily. Maybe someday you'll learn, but whatever, though. And just like that, Mega Man 2 is finished. So, yeah, Mega Man 2. I gotta say, this is, yet again, a really great game. You know, it's the game that, it's the Mega Man game everyone talks about. It's the game, it's the Mega Man game everyone says they should start with. And it's the Mega Man game that everyone most remembers. Whether it's from the Roller Masters, which, you know, this is probably one of the best Roller Master pulls in the Mega Man series. Whether it's from the music, because like I said before, Wily Stage 1 is probably one of the most popular video game music uh, tracks of all time. Whether it's from the weapons, like the Metal Blade, which is game-breaking. But, you know, I gotta say, Mega Man 2 deserves all the praise it gets, you know. It does everything a sequel do should do. You know, take what the first game did bad, multiply, um, multiply the good stuff by 10, and get rid of all the bad stuff, and... There you go. And plus, the funny thing is that, you know, I hear that Mega Man 2 was actually developed on Keiji Nafune's free time. The most critically acclaimed Mega Man game was developed on his free time. That's an accomplishment. That really is an accomplishment for, you know, Keiji Nafune and Capcom. But other than that, yeah, Mega Man 2 is a really great game. You know, if you haven't played this game, I don't know what to tell you. Just go out and find a copy. Whether you buy an original NES copy, whether you buy on the virtual console anywhere just you gotta play this game it's really really good really fun but anyway though just like that now I'll let the credits roll and those are essentially my final thoughts on Mega Man 2 um I should also bring mention to like you know I'm not gonna be doing all the Mega Man classic series all at once like I'm pretty sure all you guys saw that playlist on my channel so you know I the I will be going to the classic series every once in a while but for now I'm only gonna be doing Mega Man's 1 2 and 3 and then I'm gonna be taking a break doing some other games and then I'm going to do Mega Man 4, 5, and 6. Close out, you know, the original um, NES, NES you know, saga. And then I'm going to move on to Mega Man 7 and 8. Close out the, I guess you could say, the Hit or Miss saga. And then I'm going to go to Mega Man 9 and 10, which are the Return to Fame saga. At least I, du at least I dubbed the re Return to Fame saga. But yeah, either way though. So, yep, just like that. Mega Man 2 is done. I have a sneeze about to come out right now. But I'm trying to hold it in because I'm in the middle of recording. I don't want to get snot all over my mic and my hand. <sniffs> no crap. Aye, aye, aye. But yeah, either way though, like I said, I was saying before, next time we meet in the Mega Man universe, which should be, I think, the next day this is supposed to go up, we will be uh, tackling Mega Man 3. And I gotta need every bit of help for that game. Oh yeah, yeah, Mega Man 3. Yay. Oh yeah, yeah. If you're wondering why I'm acting like this, wait for the Let's Play, and you will see why. Yay. But yeah, either way, though, with that said, Mega Man 2, um, I was going to say Mega Man 3, Mega Man 2 credits are almost done. And now, come on, hurry up. Oh, but I think it's done, though. Either way, though, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, do you want. And like I was saying before, next time we beat the Mega Man universe, which should be the next day, Mega Man 3 it is. And like I said before, I'm going to need all the help I can get with that game. And I hope God is on my side for it. And now, why is this thing taking forever like, you know, end? Because, yeah, I have a sneeze coming. And it's going to be a mighty sneeze. Oh, crap. But, yeah, either way, though, it should be ending in a 5, 4, oh, it's on now. But, either way, though, peace out, peoples. And, a bear.